Well, good morning and welcome to the first in a new series of Julian Hutchings interviews. Yes, I've gathered together some of the most interesting and influential cyclists around to ask them some probing questions to get the answers that we all want about cycling today. And the first guest is Luigi Gravellini, the inventor of the gravel bike. Good morning. Can I call you Luigi or would you prefer Signor Gravellini or Maestro? Uh, good morning. Uh, good morning. Uh, I'd prefer uh, Signor Gravellini or uh, uh, Maestro. Yeah, Maestro is okay. But uh, no, no, not not Luigi. Luigi is reserved for uh, for my friends, not uh, not minor minor YouTube uh, stars. What well, 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 people like you anyway. Very well, Signor Gravellini. So, tell my listeners and viewers, what is a gravel bike? Uh, a gravel bike is. Uh, I'm glad you asked me that that question. Uh, I've not had that one before. Uh, a gravel bike is. Uh, uh, a, a gravel bike is a, is, is a bike, uh, a bike as you know, is, is short, for, short for bicycle. A uh, gravel bike is a, a, a bicycle uh, that can be ridden on gravel. Yeah, uh, and that, that's, that's basically when it comes down to uh, brass, brass tacks, when it comes down to, you know, the, the fundamentals, the, the, the atoms, the things that make up the universe. A gravel bike is a bike that you, uh, you can ride on gravel. Yeah. That's, that's what a gravel bike is. Oh, I see. But how does that differ from a normal bike? Well, it, it differs uh, in the sense that a, a normal bike, what, what, what you might consider a road bike, for, for example, uh, is a bike that you ride on, on a road. Uh, and a hybrid, a hybrid bike is a, is a bike that you could ride on, on a hybrid and a mountain bike is a, is a bike that you'd ride on on a mountain. Uh, well, a gravel bike is uh, a, a bike that you can ride on on gravel. I mean, that's that's one of the key one of the key differences. You wouldn't you wouldn't ride a road bike on on gravel, uh, but you'd ride a gravel bike on on gravel. Disc brakes. Ah, yes, I see a lot of bikes these days have disc brakes. Are they an advantage on a gravel bike? Oh yes, a, a, a tremendous advantage. Um, I mean, you don't you don't have rim brakes. You don't have rim brakes on a car, do you? You you, have, you generally have disc brakes on a car, uh, and so disc brakes on on a gravel bike uh, are a tremendous ad advantage. Now there are there are some people, I, I've seen you know it's, it's, this slogan save 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 the rim brake. Well, I I say that's that's bollocks. I say dump. Dump the rim brake because the the disc brake is a tremendous tremendous advantage because it it enables you to stop yes you can you can stop stop the bike with a with a disc brake and um, and uh, of course you don't have um, you you don't have brake blocks with a with a disc brake what you have is is a disc and you have a uh, a brake and you put those two things together and you've got a bingo you've got a disc brake. And what about the tyres? Is there anything special about the tyres on a gravel bike? Oh yeah, I mean the, the tyres are, are incredibly different. Uh, on a gravel bike, they're they're generally wider, much, much wider, much uh, much much bigger, much 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 fatter, much more much more you know gross, more, more girth. And the thing about a wider tyre, right? Is, and not a lot of people know this. You can ride them on a wider road. So let's say you've got a, a road bike tire, which is, for example, 25, 25 mil wide. Now you could ride that on a, on a road that's let's say uh, three meters, three meters wide. But if you've got a wide gravel tire, which can be let's say 45 or 50 millimeters wide, uh, you could ride that on a really wide a uh, gravel track, so a gravel track that's I, I don't know five meters wide. Uh, you could a wider tire is is 
uh, a wider tyre is going to be better, ob- obviously, because wider tyres, wider roads, I mean, it's, it, it, it's obvious, isn't it? And then, of course, they're tubeless, and we all know that uh, uh, when you remove the tube, um, you, you end up with a, with, a, with a tyre that we call uh, tubeless, because, you see, you've taken the, the tube out and you've replaced it, you've replaced the tube uh, with air. And when you replace the tube with air, what you do is you you make the tyre tubeless, you see, and it's much, much better. Um, yeah, it, it must, massive, massive improvement. And what about the gearing on a gravel bike? Is that different? Is that special in any way? Oh, oh, the the gearing is a uh, uh, is a game changer. So you you tend to you tend to have, uh, or, or certainly on my bikes, uh, I've put really really low gears. Now on a on a road bike, you you wouldn't have this because uh, a road cyclist doesn't want to use low gears because it, it makes them look like a wimp you see but when but gravel bikes uh, gravel riders rather I mean we we don't mind that so we put really low gears on our bikes and then instead of having to uh, get off and, and push them up a hill which is what what we used to do when we used to try and ride a normal bike on on a gravel road which as you know doesn't work uh, we can now uh, stay on the bike uh, at, at least for half the distance, and and we can ride up that that gravel hill. So yeah, it's it's a tremendous improvement. And on on my bikes, yes, I've got on on one of my gravel bikes, I've got uh, front chain rings which are uh, forty eight uh, thirty one, and then I've got a rear cassette which is uh, eleven eleven to forty. So I my lowest gear is thirty one up to forty. An 11 to 40 cassette. Well, Senor Gravellini, all I can say is you must be a shit cyclist. What did you call me? A shit cyclist? I'm not a shit cyclist. I'm a fucking amazing cyclist. I have got, I've got cycling records as, as long as your arm. I mean, you Google uh, Senor Gravellini cycling records and you will see that I have done some of the most... Uh, uh, amazing things that have been seen on a gravel bike by somebody called Gravellini since 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 the invention of of the bike. So you know, don't you get off calling me a shit cyclist? You shit cyclist. No, you're you're right. I I apologise. Obviously, you're not a shit cyclist. You're you're one of the great cyclists of our generation. But okay, a, 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 apology accepted. But don't you know? Don't you know? Watch it. That's all I can say. Watch it, mate. Chum. So tell me. I imagine you've got a few gravel bikes yourself. Uh, yes, I have. Uh, in fact, I've got all of the uh, first ten uh, gravel bikes ever ever built because I I built them. And as I as I invented the gravel bike, those uh, th- those are mine. I've got uh, I've got ten of them. You're from Italy, aren't you, Signor Gravellini? I imagine there's a lot of gravel in Italy. I, I have no idea. There might be. Why, why, why do you ask? I'm not. I'm not Italian. Why do you think I'm Italian? Are you not from Italy? Oh. Where are you from then? I live in. Uh, I live in Dorking, in uh, Dorking, in, in Surrey, in 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 Britain, United Kingdom. You know, they're, they're not not Europe, but well, I expect there's a lot of gravel around Dorking. Uh, no, actually, no, no, there, there isn't. There isn't any. No, there, there isn't. Actually, there isn't any gravel in uh, in southern England, as as it happens. Now let's get to the nub of the issue, Signor Gravellini. What exactly is gravel? Uh, well, gravel gravel is. Um, uh, gravel is is a combination. It's like a uh, it's like a compound, um, a a a combination of of little little pebbles. Uh, sometimes sometimes about I, I don't know uh, that 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 sort of size, um, and sometimes that that sort of size, and sometimes sometimes that sort of size. You know the size of the size of the Haribo, for example, and. Uh, then there's these pebbles, and then there's uh, dirt, 
uh, uh, sometimes sometimes white, although it often gets gets brown. Um, th these are these are pictures, by the way. I've never actually seen any gravel myself. Um, and it's uh, yeah, it, and it's it's like a road surface. Yeah, it's like a road surface, but it's it's gravel. But isn't that what we normally call in England roads? Uh, well, it's it's what you might call uh, a road. Um, it's what I choose to call uh, gravel, and uh, uh, and that's where gravel bikes uh, that's where gravel bikes come from. That that's the advantage. All right, you're the inventor of the gravel bikes in your gravelini. Tell us about the gestation of this idea. How did this idea come to you? Well, I was I was riding along. Uh, once on on one of my road bikes, which was as it happens had uh, 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 wide tires and, and and low gears and and disc brakes, and uh, I was riding on this stuff that that kind of looked a bit like gravel, you know, I'd seen in in pictures, and I thought, wouldn't it be wouldn't it be a good idea if I invented something uh, which I called the gravel bike, uh, and then I could sell that to all the bike companies. And they would then, I mean, I'd sell the idea to, to the bike companies and then they would then uh, market that and, and we'd all make a, a, a shed load of money. So let me be sure I understand this. You took a bike that you already owned and you thought, I know, I'll call it a gravel bike. Uh, I, th I think that's a little bit, uh, a, a little bit simplistic. There was uh, uh, a bit more involved uh, than that. Uh, it took me took me some time to, to come up with the name uh, uh, bike uh, and then I had to uh, you know come up with the name uh, with the with the gravel bit uh, and then I had to put the two together and that, I mean that that you know that, that wasn't that, that wasn't the work of a few moments I had to put you know gravel and, and then bike together in the, in the same sort of phrase. Uh, in order to come up with with gravel bikes, so you know it was it was nine months, ten months, something like that. Not sure. So how did you come up with the name then, gravel bike? Well, the, the name uh, was was um, uh, well. I thought I'd name it after myself. You know, I mean, you know, uh, uh, Halley's Comet was was named after uh, uh, Halley. Uh, I, I, I assume. Um, the uh, Beethoven's Ninth Symphony was named after uh, Beethoven, so I thought, you know, why not, why not call it after myself, which is which is what I did. Oh, you called it after yourself? Oh, yeah, I get it. So it's a Luigi. Well, I I I did think of calling it a, a, a Luigi bike, but then I, then I I I wasn't aware that the you know we rode on Luigi's. I've I've never. I've never ridden on a Luigi myself, whereas I have ridden on a, uh, on on gravel. So I thought gravel gravel bike was better than than Luigi bike. Oh. Silly me, bit of a senior moment then. But tell me, have you invented a Luigi bike? What would that be like? Uh, no, no, I haven't. But um, thank you, thank you for the idea. Um, if it if it develops something into something, and I make a uh, a large amount of money from it, then um, uh, I'll be grateful to you for, for the idea. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Now, let's be honest. There's a lot of advertising. It's in all the magazines and it's all over YouTube and all over the telly. It's just hype and marketing, isn't it? Be honest. Hype, hype and marketing? Of course not. It's nothing to do with, with hype and marketing. It's, uh, there, was a, there was a gap... Uh, there was a gap in the market. There was, there was gravel that needed to be ridden. N not in southern England, obviously, but there was there was gravel that needed to be ridden, and you you couldn't do it on a normal bike. So you needed uh, you needed a special a special bike. So you needed a gravel bike. So uh, hype and marketing. No, 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 no. If it, if it was just hype and marketing, then there would be then there would be nothing behind it. But you know there is something behind it. There's a there's a, there's a, there's a gravel bike be behind it. My take on it, Signor Gravellini, and I'm no expert, I'm not a GCN presenter, but it seems to me it's just a bike with gravel put at the front of the name, isn't it? Look, if you're just if if you're just gonna make 
fun of this. If you're just going to make of offensive comments, then then I'm afraid you can you can go back to your own you know shit videos, which you know which nobody watches. By the way, I mean I've looked at your channel and you and I've come out with some crap. But it, you know if you want to go back to that, fine. If you want to learn about the gravel bikes, then you know you 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 can talk to me. That's all I've got to say. No, you're right. I apologise. I didn't mean to offend you, Signor Gravellini. Now, I've seen a lot on YouTube about bike packing. Is a gravel bike good for bike packing? No, uh, last, uh, a sensible question. Uh, yes, a uh, gravel bike is, is brilliant for bike packing. One of, the, uh, one of the best things you can do on a gravel bike is go, uh, is go bike packing. Yeah, yeah, good question. I've seen a lot of bike packing routes, King Alfred's Way, King William's Way, King Harry's Way. They look really great. Yeah, I, I don't think there is a King King Harry's Way, is there? I don't think there's a King Harry, is there? Well, I mean, I know there was. I know there's been eight, eight King Harry's. Why are we talking about King Harry anyway? He's, he's not going to be king. And what's that other one? Canty Way, is it? Canty Way? What did, what did you say? Canty Way? Uh, it, I've, I've never heard of the Canty Way. No. I, I've, what is it? Have, have you been there? I, 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 I'm, I'm, no, I, I'm not aware of it. Oh, I'm sorry. It's easy to get confused. I was thinking of Canty Way in Kent. It must be my accent. My apologies. You mean Canty Way? Oh, Canty Way in Kent? Uh, uh No. No, no, never, never heard of it, never done it, never, never been bikepacking, to be honest. So what about me, Signor Gravellini? Should I get a gravel bike? What sort of cyclist are you? I'm a real cyclist. I ride a Brompton. A Brompton's not a bike. Well, you, a Brompton's a toy. Oh, for heaven's sake, if you want to... You know, at least at least send a cyclist to interview a cyclist. You know, if you if you're interviewing a toy shop owner, then you know, then send you know send somebody who knows about toys. But you know, don't don't send a Brompton cyclist to talk to a cyclist. Come on. Now, just a minute, Signor Gravellini. I'll not have anyone say anything sniffy or snotty about my Brompton. Well, <laughs> if if you ride a a, a Brompton, mate, you'll you'll you're probably used to people taking the piss. That's all I can say. Anyway, who really cares about gravel bikes? I thought electric bikes were the future, aren't they? Nah. Electric bikes are not the future. And you heard it here first. I read it in The Guardian. It said we should all get an electric bike and we should ride our electric bikes instead of driving our cars. We should get rid of all our cars and just have electric bikes, and that would use a lot less electricity, and everybody would be happy. Is that not true? No, no. If you've got legs, use them. That's uh, that. That's my motto. Um, if you, yeah, if you've got legs, you can ride a bike, and you don't need an electric bike. So why shouldn't people with health issues ride electric bikes? Well, okay, fair enough. If you've got if you've got health issues or if you if you don't have legs, then yeah, you ride an electric bike. But otherwise, otherwise ride a, a gravel bike, and and certainly don't don't ride a Brompton, which is as, as we said is a is a toy. Well, inventing the gravel bike must have been really good for you, Signor Gravellini. Does them tell me? Does everyone have to pay you a royalty when they sell a gravel bike? Yes. Isn't that amazing? I invented the gravel bike and uh, all the bike companies now who are uh, making and selling gravel bikes, every time they sell a gravel bike, they have to pay me a royalty. That's uh, it's wonderful, isn't it? Don't you agree? I think, I think it's incredible. What do you mean they have to pay you a royalty when they mention gravel bike? That can't be true. Uh, and yes, if you if you mentioned gravel bike and and you've mentioned gravel bikes quite a few times in this interview, um, you have to pay me uh, you have to pay me a euro uh, each time you mention it. Or if anybody mentions it, if they mention it on on GCN or, or Road CC or, or Davy Arthur or anybody like that. If they mention gravel bikes, they have to pay me 
uh, a, a euro. That's uh, that's that that's capitalism, I'm afraid. What you're <laughs> saying? I have to pay you two euros because I mentioned gravel bike twice in the same sentence. You're having a laugh. Uh, no, no, I'm I'm uh, I'm serious. I'm I'm serious. You have to. You you've got to pay. Pay up. Pay up. Play the game. Well, I tell you what, then. I'm not going to mention it. I'm going to call it a G-bike instead. So there. Well, you can't, see, because G-bike, right, G-bike is a registered trademark of Geraint Thomas, 2018 Tour de France winner. So, you know, his his nickname is, is G, and G-bike is owned by, by G. So, um, no, no, you, you can't. Geraint Thomas? What? The 2018 Tour de France winner? You're telling me that he owns G-Bike? Why are you going to tell me he owns the G-Spot next as well? What, I have to pay him royalties? Well, you're going to have to pay him. You are. Well, thank you, Signor Gravellini. And thank you, everybody. And next week, we'll be talking about the Molten. Molten? Molten? It's, it's just like a... That's a Bobton. That's a, that's a toy as well. This this uh this 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 interview is is a is a fucking joke, mate. I don't, I don't even know I don't even know what I'm doing here. I mean, it's a fucking waste of time. The whole thing is. Look, you know, Sodja, it's a fucking. Oh, oh.